Coming up on Around Kern County, we're celebrating our probation department and highlighting their latest promotion ceremony. And it's Volunteer Appreciation Week. We're thanking our animal shelter volunteers and sharing how you can get involved when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're kicking off this week's show by honoring the hardworking men and women of our probation department. This month, they celebrated a promotion ceremony in our board chambers in recognition of their employees' commitment to a safer community. I want to congratulate each of the people who have recently been promoted. Kern County's Probation Department is a local agency that's truly making a difference. By reducing criminal behavior and recidivism, probation staff have one of the most important missions in society, as they seek to provide accountability and opportunity to those who have had a negative impact on our community. Our probation staff works diligently to help our youth and adults earn a second chance and become productive, law-abiding citizens through a series of outstanding programs and services. We want to commend these incredible members of our workforce for their diligence, love, and hope. To learn more about their everyday impact, follow them on Facebook by searching Kern County Probation Department. This month, Public Health has been educating and supporting our community through Food Insecurity and Malnutrition Month. This is part of their 2024 campaign, A Healthier Kern, One Heart at a Time. This initiative highlights 10 health-related challenges in our community and provides awareness and education to empower our residents to be healthier while showcasing public health programs and services. To help address hunger and malnutrition right here in Kern County, Public Health has launched the Waste Hunger, Not Food campaign. Since it began in 2018, Public Health has partnered with more than 11 school districts to rescue food that would otherwise be thrown away and has worked with dozens of local churches and nonprofits to get this fresh food to our most vulnerable community members. To date, Public Health has distributed nearly three and a half million pounds of food and given it to local families in need. To learn more and get involved, please visit kernpublichealth.com. And we're ending today by thanking our volunteers at the Kern County Animal Shelter. April 22nd through the 27th is National Volunteer Appreciation Week. But the commitment of our volunteers is something worth celebrating year round. Our Animal Services Department could never care for as many sweet pets if it wasn't for the time love and service of our dedicated community members. You know, you would think volunteering at an animal shelter just means you're cleaning up after dogs and cats, but uh, honestly, we have so many tasks that they help us with. We, yeah, of course, we have volunteers that come in. Some of them are cat people, some of them are dog people, some of them prefer puppies, some of them prefer large dogs, and um, they can clean and provide daily maintenance, but then we have people that are allergic to cats and dogs that can't be anywhere near them. Well, they might be answering phones, or they might be a door greeter, or they might be helping us canvas out in the community. You know, every, every last one of the uh, 100 or so volunteers that we've had this last year that's donated almost 7,000 hours um, this fiscal year. Um, I mean, we're grateful for every one of them, and they do so much. If you'd like to volunteer, please visit kerncountyanimalservices.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.